up here to Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The uh, topic this morning, <coughs> excuse me, is Cuba. And we're fortunate to have with us to uh, talk about Cuba, uh, Dr. Leonard Madhu. And uh, I think the uh, audience recognizes Dr. Uh, Madhu from uh, the uh, many uh, shows that we've had with him, uh, dealing not only with uh, South America, but with uh, the Middle East, with Africa, and with almost uh, every continent uh, ex ex in a real sense, Dr. Madhu, I think, uh, explaining the uh, kind of information and the kind of, uh, of uh, influence that you bring to our discussions here. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to uh, have you here this morning to uh, talk about uh, Cuba, because this was one of the uh, first of the uh, colonies. And let's talk about it. Let's have you give us some information about it, background information, and then get into the topic of Cuba itself. Well, you know, uh Everybody understands that Cuba, you know, was a former Spanish colony. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we remember the Spanish-American War and, you know, what happened, how Cuba, mm -hmm. you know, became independent uh, up to the revolution, mm -hmm. up to the treaty, you know, the Guantanamo Bay Treaty and all that. In order to understand, you know, Cuba today, uh, one has to go on what I might call three levels. Mm -hmm. uh, one is from 1959 when Fidel Castro overthrew Fulgencio Batista mm -hmm. till 1990, you know, when uh, 1991, when Gorbachev started his perestroika in, mm -hmm. in Russia and communism collapsed. Mm -hmm. and then from 1991 to 2008, mm -hmm. you know, when uh, you know, after the Cold War and Fidel became sick, handed over to his brother. Mm -hmm. His brother took over from 2008, February, effectively as president, you know, till now. So these are the three, three stages. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That one can look at, mm -hmm. you know, what is happening in Cuba mm -hmm. up, to, up to today. Uh, prior to, you know, the Cuban Revolution, mm -hmm. everyone understood there was a lot of American influence in Cuba. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the companies in Cuba mm -hmm were owned by Americans. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the corporations and businesses, casinos, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Et in fact, Havana was in Miami, mm -hmm. you know, at that time mm -hmm. of, 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 of the Caribbean, mm -hmm. where most of the casinos were located. Mm -hmm. So here comes Fidel Castro in 1959 and overthrew the so-called corrupt dictatorial government mm -hmm. of uh, Fulgencio Batista. Initially, people thought that the you know, Cuban Revolution would follow the capitalist path. Okay. You know, but however, uh, most people didn't understand the thinking of most of the Cuban revolutionaries, uh, particularly Raul, mm -hmm. who is the current president. In fact, uh, Raul Castro was the main communist amongst the revolutionaries, not even Fidel himself. Mm -hmm. In fact, history says that, you know, Fidel was influenced by his own junior brother, Raul Castro, who was already a member of the Communist Party when the revolution started. Mm -hmm. And as you well know, this revolution was sparked, you know, because of the dictatorship mm -hmm. of Fulgencio of Batista. You know, people were being arrested, jailed, civil rights, you know, mm -hmm. was human and civil rights were being violated, etc., etc. And of course, like all revolutions, you know, this were few people, you know, mm -hmm. started about five or six of them, really. You have Fidel Castro, mm -hmm. you have Raul Castro, his brother. You have Che Guevara, the Ar Argentine medical doctor. You have uh, uh, Huba Mato, who was Commandant Huba Mato. And then uh, uh, one of the most charismatic of all of them, you know, who Camilo Sanfuegos, mm -hmm. you know, who died in a mysterious plane crash mm -hmm. some time yeah. ago. You have five of them plus the highest ranking black amongst them, called uh, Juan Almeida, Major Juan Almeida, he just died two years ago. Mm -hmm. They were just a group of them who started the revolution. Uh, when they came to power, like I said, you know, they appointed some figureheads known to the Americans, mm -hmm. you know, to 
make the American government feel comfortable, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but at the same time, Fidel Castro and his brother and the rest wanted a socialist, you know, mm -hmm. Cuba, Good. where unemployment would be a thing of the past, racial discrimination would be a thing of the past, mm -hmm. you know, free health care, free education, and you name it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because of the, you know, path they chose, mm -hmm. uh, they fell, you know, out of favor mm -hmm. with the Eisenhower, mm -hmm. you know, government administration. Oh, exactly. What we're going to have to do during this uh, first segment, mm -hmm. we're going to have to take uh, <coughs> our first break. Mm -hmm. And after we come back, we can pick up at that particular point. But it's time for us to take this uh, first uh, commercial break. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. Talking to Dr. Leonard Madu.